What's up, Africa? I was in Lagos, Nigeria last week, guys, and it felt good to be back. Here's a short video I made about me trying to find the old apartment I used to live in with my mum and dad over 26 years ago. It was an insane experience and actually pretty emotional. Check it out. Okay, so the name of our street was Okanawajai. I have no idea, like I said, if it's still gonna be around. Well, the street should still be there, but I don't know if our apartment's gonna be there. Let's go and find out. I'm starting to recognize some stuff, but yeah, I can't be sure. I don't remember any landmarks at the moment. But I was seven years old, so... Um, a few things have kind of changed. It's supposed to be at the end of this street on the right, so let's, let's find out what, it's, um, what it ends up being like. It's kind of exciting, actually. I have so many happy memories of living in Lagos, and this apartment is where they all happened. It's where I learned to walk, where I got told off for being naughty, and also where I grew up with two very loving parents who made me feel I could do anything and be anybody I wanted. Oh yes, okay, and I remember this. That's Okanawai Jai Street. And I actually remember this turning. Ooh. No, I don't think it's there anymore. I don't think it's there. I think it was in this compound then. Okay, so the last hope is it being this I think that is it. That is very, very cool. I remember having a bad accident just over there where that Honda is parked. I'll show you in a minute. And my toe basically nearly fell off. 26 years. And I know how excited my dad is going to be and my mum about me even being here right now. It's been a long time. Um, and yeah, it's actually fairly emotional. That's it. That's the house. That's the house. And so our flat was um, was the first floor there. Well, well, and I remember well, pictures well, of well, me on the balcony well, well, running well, around. Well, if you are worried. Okay, so I'm here with Tola. And Tola is basically the next door neighbor of the apartment where I used to live, except Tola and his friends have broken through to the other apartment to create one big kind of, yeah, pad, bachelor pad. <laughs> all right, let's go and check it out. Everything looked smaller than I imagined it, but it was all there. Our living room, my old bedroom, and when all these memories came flooding back, it got pretty overwhelming. This is where we used to eat. So I remember my dad feeding me. Tola introduced me to um, Mr. Alaji, who was our old landlord. And although I didn't know him that well, it kind of felt pretty emotional to meet him, especially when I showed him old photos of my dad. I remember. I don't know why. Why do you get so emotional? Worry. It's okay. It's nice seeing you again. No, you will give me your dad's phone number. Being back in our old apartment reminded me of all the sacrifices my parents have made for me over the years, providing for me when money was tight for us but always loving me unconditionally. No other words for it. That was an insane experience. I'm so happy I came back to my old neighborhood. I didn't expect to find our old apartment, let alone be welcomed inside it, let alone meet our old landlord. Uh, and everyone was just so cool and, uh, and open. Um, I can highly recommend it, guys. If you haven't had the chance to go back to your old apartment, your old village, your mum's village, your dad's village, wherever it is in Africa, please go and do it because of all those awesome memories. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I come back, take everyone out for a drink, 
And um, yeah, I'm never gonna forget this.